Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. In today's video, let us learn about revised simplex method. This is one of the model in simplex method. Now let's see the sum how to solve using revised simplex method. The first sum is the sum is maximum z is equals to x1 plus 2x2 subject to x1 plus x2 less than or equals to 3 x1 plus 2x2 less than or equals to 5 3x1 plus x2 less than or equals to 6 where x1 x2 are greater than or equals to 0 here the given sum is in maximum only if the sum is in minimum then we have to convert it into maximum z and we start the process now let's see the process how to solve using revised simplex method first of all we have to convert the given equation into a standard form by adding slack variables so let us convert the given equation into standard form maximum z is equals to x1 plus 2x2 and let's see the constraints x1 plus x2 plus s1 is equals to 3 x1 plus 2x2 plus s2 is equals to 5 3x1 plus x2 plus s3 is equals to 6 the by adding the slack variables we are converting the constraints into equations and we will add these constraints with zero coefficient to the maximum z then the maximum z equation also will be converted into equation by adding the slack variables with zero coefficients maximum z also becomes an equation now let's take us now let us take the lpp into matrix form and represent it by a by taking the lpp into matrix form see here in the first equation see here in the first equation we are having coefficient 1 for x2 1 for s1 1 and here s2 and s3 are not there so we are taking those equations as 0 0 in the same way we will convert for each equation we will convert a matrix table and here we will represent the solutions with b small b is equals to 3 5 6 the solutions what the basic solutions we are having and here again we will take the coefficients of maximum z values into c c is equals to 1 2 0 0 0 as the coefficients of slack variables are 0 and basic basic base coefficients means these we will take these as base coefficients c b uh, 0 0 0 now in step 2 let us find out let us take the initial basic feasible solution as x1 x2 is equals to 0 and for s1 is equals to 3 s2 is equals to 5 and s3 is equals to 6 now let us find out the solution by using revised simplex method in the step 3 we will find out a cap the formula for a cap is matrix of a minus c here we will write the equations of a triple one double zero one 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 zero zero one two zero one zero three one double zero zero one and for this c we will add minus values we will multiply this with minus so minus one minus two zero 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 and in the same way we will find out the value for b cap also for b cap the formula is b zero so here the values of b are three five six and we will add 0 then it becomes b cap now let us go to the another step see now let us find out b inverse cap for this the formula is b inverse 0 cb b inverse 1 here the b inverse values are 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 why this came means these values are considered as b inverse the basic the basic variables 
quotient matrix is known as B inverse. Now let us find out B inverse cap. The formula for B inverse cap is B inverse 0, CB B inverse 1. Now let's write the B inverse values. B inverse values are 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. And for B inverse, the uh, we have to add 0 here. So we are adding zeros. And for CB, B inverse. CB, B inverse values are, already we have taken CB values as 0, 0, 0. So we are adding 0, 0, 0. And this one is here. This is the B inverse cap. Now let us find out the net evaluations by using the formula ZJ minus CJ is equals to CBB inverse 1 into A cap. Here CBB inverse values are CBB inverse 1 values is this one. So we are taking that 0, 0, 0, 1 into a cap value already we have find out the a cap value the a cap values are 1 1 1 0 0 1 2 0 1 0 3 1 double, 0 0 1 minus 1 minus 2 0 0 0 and by multiplying 0 0 0 1 into the with a cap cbb inverse 1 into a cap we will get the formula like uh, how to calculate means we will calculate this value with this row. I am showing the one, for example, how to calculate the value. See here, 0 into 1, 1. Plus, 0 into, 0 into 1, 0. Plus, 0 into 1, 0. Plus, 0 into 3, 0. Minus, why? Because plus into minus, minus and 1, 1. So here answer is minus 1, minus 1. In the same way we will calculate for whole matrix and this is the value of ZJ minus and this is the value of ZJ minus CZ. Now once see here, these are the most negative values. When we are calculating by using simplex method, we have a formula that always ZJ minus CZ must be greater than or equals to 0. If it is less than or equals to 0, we will continue to the second step. So here the ZJ minus CJ is less than 0. Here let us select the most negative value. The most negative value is minus 2. So here let us see x1, x2, s1, s2, s3. These are the basic variables. So here this is the x2 column. So here x2 e x2 enters the basis. So here x2 enters the basis. Now let us find out the basic values. Let us find out x2 cap. X2 cap formula for x2 cap is B inverse cap A2 cap. Here A2 is this one. As we are representing this as A1, A cap, A1, A2, A3, A4, A5. See, A2. Now here B inverse cap formula is B inverse values are this one. We will add those and A2, 1, 2, 1, minus 2. Now let us find out X2 cap. X2 cap value is also 1, 2, 1 minus 2. This one also we will calculate by using this one and this one as I shown here. And by this we will get the for value for X2 cap. In the same way let us find out the value for XB cap also. For XB cap the formula is B inverse cap into B cap. Here B inverse values and B cap value is 3560. So by multiplying this two matrices we will get 3560 as xb cap value now now let us take a revised simplex table how we represent the re revised simplex table is let's see now 
B. B is of basis. XB. Coefficient of basis. And B cap inverse. B inverse cap. And X to cap and ratio. We will find out the ratio for XB by X2. As here XB and this is X2. And we will take this column as XK also. Here we, have, we already got X square. Entering variable, so we are taking here x2. See what are the basic variables for us? S1, S2, S3 are the basic variables, and we will take z also in the same way. Coefficients for xb 3, 5, 6, 0. Now let us take the values of b inverse cap, and already we have find out the x2 cap also. The x2 cap value is 1, 2. 1 minus 2. So, now let us find out the ratio. The ratio is xb by xk. Why we are doing this table means in order to find out the leaving variable. Now see, 3 divided by 1, 3, 5 divided by 2, 2.5, 6 divided by 1, 6. And we won't consider the negative value. So, we are not calculating anything here. By this, the least value is 2.5. And here S2 is leaving variable. See, S2 leaves the basis. In the first iteration, we will drop S2. And in the place of S2, we will introduce X2. Why? Because X2 is the entering variable. So, here see once. By adding, while creating a new table, we will convert this, we will convert the leading element of key column. Here the key column is x2. The leading variable in the key column is the leading variable in the key column is 2. We will convert this into 1 and the remaining values into 0. Now let us find out how we will do that. See here this is the first one. So we will divide 2 with 2. We will divide the we will divide this row with 2. By dividing that we will get 0 by 2, 0, 1 by 2, 1 by 2, 0, 0 and this becomes 1 here. And now we have to convert this into 0. How we calculate means let us take the rows here. This is R2 row and this is R1, R3, R4. R1, R3, R4. As already we have found out the new values for R2. Now let us find out. R1 minus R2. Here R1 values are 1, 0, 0, 0 and 1. Why? Because we have to convert this into zeros. And now the R2 values are 0, 1 by 2, 0, 0, 1. This is a, this word will be with minus quotients. Now see. 1 minus 1 by 2 0 0 0 see we have considered that this is also converted into 0 this value also converted into 0 and we are making this as 1 minus 1 by 2 0 0 in the same way we will find out for r3 and r4 values also by this now let us compute zj minus cj already we have the formula for zj minus cj cb b inverse cap into 1 into a cap. Here CB is this one. 0, 1, 0, 1. CB B inverse. 0, 1, 0, 1. Into a cap. The a cap is what we have calculated in the first step. We will take these values and we will calculate. Here all the values are greater than 0 only. Here zj minus cj is greater than or equals to 0. So, we have reached the optimum solution. As zj minus cj is greater than or equals to 0. Now, let us find out the coefficients for the equations. For that, we are having the formula xb cap is equals to b inverse cap into b cap. Here, what we are having b inverse, the value what we have found out the first. This is the B inverse. We have to take this matrix now by see 
by taking the b inverse cap and by multiplying b inverse cap and b cap we will get 1 by 2 5 by 2 7 by 2 and 5 by multiplying b inverse cap into b cap we will get the formula 1 by 2 we will get the answers 1 by 2 5 by 2 7 by 2 5 and now we have to find out the optimum solution already we know that here this is s1 value this is x2 value this is s3 value and this is z value as here why because you may get confused why because here see here s2 is leaving variable in the place of s2 we are getting x2 and in the same way this will be in the same manner only s1 s3 and this is z so here the equation of x1 there is no x1 value so x1 is equals to 0 and here x2 x2 is 5 by 2 and in the same way maximum z value is 5 and this is the way how to solve the revised simplex method the previous the previous models of simplex method are already posted in our channel i will provide the links in the description box once please go and check it if you like this video please do like share and subscribe to our channel thank you